This video will show you how you can use discussions within Canvas. So again, I'm back into my template and I do have a discussion for engaging good things. And so I just use the discussion board that's right in Canvas here. So again, I would add, I go to edit and I'd add an intro video of what I want them to discuss or just a kind of a quick intro. And I would just use probably this record upload media button to do so. And then how do you want the, you want to answer these questions for them and put in descriptions of what formats that you want them to post in so they can respond back with the video as well, same tools and how many people they should respond to. All right, so this is the description in here. And then do I want to post it to just one of my sections, all my sections? So again, so for those of you who teach multiple sections of the same course, you can do that and you can post it to all those discussions. You can have an attachment in there too. Now here are your options within discussions. If you want, th want threaded discuss or replies, which means like somebody replies and they can reply back to them and kind of like a thread there, um, that's what I would suggest so they can respond to each other. Um, you can mark that. If you want them to post before they see each other's replies, you can mark that as well. Um, a podcast feed, you probably really don't need for this. Um, do you want it to be graded or not? Um, probably not for like good things because we talked about that not impacting their grade. If you want them to allow liking, um, if you don't want that to have happen, you can unmark that. And do you want just that you can like or you want them to be able to sort by like? So like if you have um, something that you're going to say like vote on your top ones, you can have it sorted by likes as well. And then if you want it to be at the beginning, like on the student's dashboard, you can add it to the student's to-do list and then what date you want that to be. Now, if you, again, if you have groups that your class is divided up into, so if you don't want them all responding to the bat, same discussion, so for example, um, you have a class of like 35 or 40, 100 kids for like band and things like that, um, you might wanna do smaller groups. And so you would have to set that up in your settings area first for groups and then um, put kids in groups. And then you can choose, this is a group discussion, and then you would just name it. And you can just either have them sign up for the groups, or you can set them into groups and you can do it manually or automatically, um, how many kids you want in each group. And then when you want it available till, um, so you can decide on that. But that is pretty much groups, or I mean discussions. So if I go to save, and then if, this is all that it looks like to the students right here. And then I, as a teacher, I can search by the people that respond. So if I want to see, hmm, that person hasn't checked in, um, what do I can look by them. I can also go by to unread um, and see which ones are unread. I, over here, I can check to see, to have that marked or on or off um, for if it's read or deleted, I mean. And then here, if you don't want to see all the replies and you just want to see the initial response to people, you can cl collapse the replies or expand them that way. You can also subscribe in your notifications. So like you set in your navigation, like in your account earlier over here, um, you can subscribe or non -resp not respond or not subscribe to them. Sorry. This is basically where the students will then reply. So if they click reply, they're going to get that same bit, same rich content editor as you. Um, and so they could do the same thing of recording media. They could do all sorts of those things in here too. So if I wanted to do this, if I had a video that I wanted to import, so maybe you want to say um, for even like your launch, if you want to do a discussion for that, um, like find a video that's inspirational to you or something, maybe they go ahead and they include a video. Um, or if you want them to record, um, they can do so or upload a video. They can do that as well or audio if they want to respond that way. Um, so those are just a few ways that they can respond and or they can add an attachment as well. Um, and that's basically discussions in a nutshell.